What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm excited, and I know I say that every time, but today I'm extra excited because I'm about to bring to you and your face holes a creation that's never been done. Yeah, I said it. It's never been done until now. Chicken parm hot dogs with garlic bread hot dog buns. What? Let's get on with the recipe. Chicken parm hot dogs. Now, what does that even mean? It means we start with using a chicken-based hot dog that has mozzarella cheese on the inside. I like pan frying my hot dogs, but I also like steaming them. And who said you can't do both? And the thing with these hot dogs is that the chicken's already cooked. So if you were in some sort of zombie apocalyptic survival and you found some chicken hot dogs, you could pretty much just eat them as is. A typical chicken parm dish has a piece of chicken that's usually breaded and then fried. That's what we're gonna do with this here chicken sausage. We're gonna coat it in breadcrumbs and then fry it. But before I fry my chicken hot dog, I gotta make my garlic bread bun. And for that, I'm combining chopped up parsley, minced garlic with melted butter, which I'm gonna use to paint over my hot dog bun. Because painting is not just for a blank canvas. Painting's also for a blank and plain hot dog bun. Now, if you're recreating this recipe and you can't find top cut hot dog buns, which are not usually readily available everywhere, you can easily use regular plain old round hot dog buns. When frying things, it's very important to have separate dredging stations. For the first wet dredging station, I'm gonna scramble up some eggs and add some Italian seasoning. To that Italian seasoned egg wash, I'm gonna coat my chicken sausage, then immediately take it out and coat it in the Italian breadcrumbs. The key to making a crispy and fully coated chicken parm is to make sure to double dredge. The double dredge allows all of those extra nooks and crannies that might have been missed the first time to get fully coated for that delicious deep fry. Then it's off to the races. Now, when you're deep frying something that's already cooked, we're not really trying to cook the inside, but rather cook the outside to make it extra crispy. Then I lay out the fried hot dogs and coat each one in a little bit of marinara sauce. On top of the marinara sauce, I'm using some fresh mozzarella. Now you could use regular mozzarella, but you're not gonna get the same effect. It might drip off and you might not see it. When you use thick cut fresh mozzarella, you're guaranteed to keep all that cheesiness intact. To the inside of each one of those garlic bread hot dogs, add a little bit more marinara and then stuff each one of these garlic hot dog buns with your cheesed up fried hot dog. Garnish the entire thing in some chopped up parsley because everything is more fancy when you garnish it with something green. Then take a step back and marvel in this wonderful creation. Look at it. Want it. Whoa. Guys, look at this beauty. Look at it. I can smell it. I know you can't, but it smells amazing. It's giving me all the classics, all the things I know and love about chicken parm in a convenient handheld dish. Let's crack this bad boy open. Our hot dog is sitting on a bed of marinara sauce, which is being surrounded by this perfectly crusted and cooked piece of garlic bread. And then our breadcrumb coated sausage is inside of that, topped with some more marinara and some melted cheese. Does it even mean anything if I can't taste it? And explain to you the taste explosion that's about to go down. Oh my goodness. I think I might break the idea of what chicken parm is forever. I don't even think there are adjectives to describe how incredibly awesome this is. But you at home would never know that unless you make it. You can check out the recipe link in the description. You can check out recipechampions.com where I publish one every single week. Guys, I got half of this one and I got two more right over here. Chicken parm hot dogs. Woo! I'm excited. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to become a recipe champion in your own home, head over to recipechampions.com for all my published recipes. You can learn how to make crazy things like Fruity Pebbles cheesecakes or even an Eggs Benedict burrito. Go check it out and learn how to turn yourself into a recipe champion.